I'm Paul Peter Coyote, coming to you from Crestone, Colorado. Allow your heart to move you. Great things can be accomplished, even when you're a whacked out, stoned up hippie freak. So beautiful. I just started learning how to look into someone's eyes. And it was always a hard thing for me to do, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love my life, I love my life, I love my life, I love my life. Screw what society tells you. Sorry. <laughs> this wonders of life that awaits you to explore all the magic and it's unbelievable. The colors and the smells and oh my god. It gets hard to distinguish. I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's absolutely true. It gets hard to distinguish the difference between where your legs and where your feet ends and where the board starts. You become this one unit. That's the amazing thing, is you feel totally connected. If we become disconnected from the natural world, we lose something magical, something so precious. We lose part of what it means to be human. We protect what we love. You gotta grab the bull by the horns. <laughs> and that's about what it's like sometimes if you lived a life like mine. But you just gotta just claim it. It's yours. Just hundreds of souls united in play. Mama? What? I love you. I love you too. I love you more. <laughs> What is life asking from us? <laughs> well, Margarita, thank you for that huge, 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 massive question. <laughs> I did ask for it. Hey, at least you didn't ask me, what am I? <laughs> but it's a fantastic question um, and it's a biggie what is life asking from us well I think it asks a lot of things from us but ultimately I, I would think or I feel my observation, my experience, is that life asks to be lived, to live it. That's what it's asking. It's asking you to accept it and live it. That's what life asks from us. Because, I mean, what more can you do? <laughs> what more can you do than live your life? I mean, really live it. I mean, you can do other things too, but I mean... Yeah, that's a biggie. It's obvious and it's, it's kind of tough too, because you can really get into it. But, I mean, smaller things, I mean, all the other... Not smaller things, but all the other layers, all the... The... More obscure things, you know, the, the list would go on and on and on. I mean, it asks from us patience, it asks from us uh, love, it asks from us uh, acceptance, it asks us to grow, it asks us to see, it asks us to reflect. The signs are everywhere and the opportunities are everywhere. I mean, why else would we live in this holographic, three-dimensional, holographic universe in which everything is a projection and a reflection of what we're, <laughs> of us? Why would we be in this funhouse of reflections if the purpose wasn't to look inward? 
So as much as this is fun, this this fun house, this spectacular fun house that is our reality, amazing. Being a house of mirrors, of trillions of mirrors, it, it asks us to reflect back and look inward and self-inquire. It asks us to self-inquire. So, yes, it, it has to be lived, but I guess, yeah, to go even deeper, you know, everything's pointing to showing us to, of what we are. Even, even besides the reflections, just the environment, the natural environment, this amazing planet ocean. The lessons are just endless. You know, and people hear that, you know, some people may be, oh, yeah, the lessons of nature. No, there really are lessons everywhere if you look. It's just, if you really look at the way a plant's growing and what it's doing, or, or watching animals, or just all these different things, you can see even just the, the weather and the, the planet itself. Um, it just, there's just constant lessons, things it teaches us. The biggest, of course, is flow, but um, it teaches us so many things. So the environment is constantly trying to teach us. <laughs> and we're connected to it. And that's one of the things it's also trying to tell us. You're connected. You are, you know, that's what it keeps showing us, that everything is connected. That, you know, when they found out that trees, you know, massive forests, you know, are actually are connected by the root systems, are actually a lot of... Scientists actually believe that, in essence, they're kind of one organism. So, there's a lesson right there. It's showing us right there. Connectedness. Everything is connected. Even the shape of the planet. A circle. And everything in this material reality keeps pointing to a circle. Everything, if you watch the way things form, the way even things that aren't physical, if you look at the way dramas play out and feelings play out and other things, you, you start to see, you see circles in everything. Everything's circles. Everything's uh, infinite. So there's another one. Uh, that where the environment is huge, constantly pointing to something. Signs everywhere, so the environment itself is teaching us. And by teaching us, of course, you can't learn without inquiry. And of course, all of these things, they're also pointing at us. They're, they're, there's a reason they're all showing us the same thing. It's because it's trying to show us what we are. <laughs> We're trying to show ourselves what we are in this grand expression of consciousness. So, the environment is constantly asking us to look inward, to self-inquire. Everything in life, the challenges, invites us to self-inquire. All these reflections in the funhouse ask us to self-inquire. So, yeah, that's a big question. You could probably talk all day on that one, but, <laughs> but to live it, obviously, but it, yeah, I think ultimately what it's really asking us is self-inquiry to ask the question, I am. So I guess in a sense you did ask me that question. You asked me a question that led me to that one. So, yeah, the big I am, what am I? But I think one of the things it also asks us is acceptance, because it's constantly giving us opportunities and challenges to accept, extremes to accept. 
And so... And then, of course, once we accept, we're more inclined to self-inquire. Yeah, life, it's, it's an amazing thing we've created here. It's an, an amazing expression, so complex and beautiful. But it does seem to be a kind of laboratory. Both a laboratory and a theater. <laughs> The ultimate sandbox, I like to think of it. But I mean, there's definitely a purpose here. There's definitely a something trying to be figured out. And then it's also very obvious that it's just an expression, period. It's just, it is what it is. And it's grand and it's miraculous and it's beautiful. And it's magical. And all of the creatures here and the life forms are magical. And the colors and the smells and the, I mean, wow. <laughs> so yeah, life. It keeps asking. It never stops asking. From birth to death, life's constantly going to be asking you. And so really what it's, since we are the creators, really, it's all down to you, really, ultimately. What, what, what you believe it's asking you, that's your journey. That's the magic of each of us in these unique, even though we are all one, we're all connected, we're one thing, we're one consciousness. We have these individual shells and egos and, and brains. So we can create our own, so we can express individually and explore certain things. It's really quite amazing. So in that sense, as individuals, we can qualify it down even smaller and ask very specific questions or see. Because really when when you when when we're being presented these things, these opportunities, they are ultimately your own questions as well. I mean, it's consciousness asking itself questions. You know, I wonder what would happen if I took myself and smashed myself into myself over there and did this. <laughs> wonder what I would. I mean, I don't know. That's just how I see it. We all see things differently, but but again, ultimately, what 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 is hard to ignore, really. Well, you can if you want, but it does ask. It will never stop asking. And it asks many things, and those things can vary depending on the individual. But in the end, when you pull way back, way, way, way back, everything it's asking is an opportunity for self-inquiry which of course is a beautiful thing because self-inquiry is about going inward going back to source to what, what we really are and tapping into that and just being so it asks us for self-inquiry but obviously if it's asking that then there's even something behind that but what it is, well, we won't know until we experience it, because that's also how we, during this all this crazy experiencing, self-inquiry, the self-inquiry itself has to be experienced. That's the purpose of it. That's why you can only go so far in... in spirituality and philosophy if you're just 
if you're just going to to ask questions and, and formulate things but not live because that's when we really learn you know it's like the old you used to say that back in the old days you know that that that's how you learn by your mistakes you learn by experience there's no substitute for experience they say you learn by doing they say But again, so we, when we pull back, self-inquiry, and it's all its forms, through experience, individual and collective, but again, all self-inquiry. So where that self-inquiry is going would be anybody's guess, and again, like everything else would have to happen and experience for us to know. We'll know when we know seems to me it's, it's some kind of return to itself, a return to consciousness. But I mean, who knows? Maybe not. Maybe, it, maybe this is a, a small experiment leading to an even bigger experiment, although I could imagine a bigger experiment than this. <laughs> this is the grandest production ever in existence. The grandest. The the most incredible, impossible to match experience, expression, show that is life, if you really look at it in all its complexities, in all of its beauty, in all of its vibrant energy and color and extremes. It's, it's the greatest gift, the greatest experience one can have, obviously, is to live. Because <laughs> it has it all. It has it all. It's a buffet of experience, a buffet of gifts. An endless buffet. If you're open to it. So who knows? We'll decide. We are deciding. We are expressing. Whatever it is, it will be perfect. There's no mistakes here. What's happening is supposed to be happening. What is, is. And it's miraculous. I love you. Share, share.